Hello, I am Laura and we are going to do our first workout in our beginner series of abs exercises. We're going to do three exercises in this abs workout. You can repeat it one, two, three, as many times as you want. So that's the beauty of it. I have a rule for working abs and it's not just abs, although that's what people think about, it's core. We're going to work on the entire core, so we're going to work the front, we're going to work the back, and we're going to do some sort of rotation or work for the sides and the obliques. So that's kind of my rule of thumb when I do my workouts. I don't just focus on sit-ups in the front work. I try to do hit, hit the core from all angles, and that's what we're going to do today. So one exercise for each area. For the first exercise, I'm going to use a chair. You can also do this exercise on the floor. That would make it more challenging. We're going to sit on the chair, make sure you're comfortably on. For this first exercise, we're going to work the front abs. You've probably heard of the exercise plank, which is ridiculously hard. This is going to work your ab muscles in the same way as plank without doing a plank, which is lovely. You're going to sit here on the chair, get very comfortable there and secure. You're going to put your arms forward, reach them forward, and now you're going to hinge back as far as you comfortably can. I hinge back two inches and I feel my abs engage. I'm going to keep this engaged in the front, nice and tight. Now I'm going to open and then exhale closed. We're going to go for 12 repetitions, so let's do that now. Get into a comfortable position, arms reaching forward, inhale open, exhale closed. This is number two. I'm going to keep my chin just a little bit tucked. Number three. We're going to do this ab, exercise, uh, this ab workout straight through. Four. You're going to go up to 12 if you can, stop if you need to, we're halfway right there. If I lean back a little bit more, it makes it quite a bit harder, I can extend my legs. This is 10 already, two more, inhale, exhale, last one, beautiful. You should feel that right down the front. Exercise number two is for the back. I'm going to go to the floor. And this is a modified swan. Swan is a Pilates move, but the, the regular swan exercise is extremely advanced. I don't do it myself. I'm going to have my hands flat underneath my shoulders. Legs are extended long. Legs are going to stay down the entire time. I'm going to inhale to get ready. And then I'm going to exhale and lift just my torso. And I'm not using my hands. So I'm going to actually reach back with my elbows, reaching my elbows toward my ankle bones, and I'm going to take three deep breaths here. And I'm going to try to inhale through my nose and exhale through my mouth. One more deep breath. And then I'm going to lower down. We do this exercise in every single one of my Pilates classes. Let's do it again. Inhale to get ready. Exhale up. So again, no weight in the hands. That might mean that you can't lift quite as high as you think you should. That's okay. Keep your neck in line with your spine. Three deep breaths here. One more. And come down. Inhale to get ready. Exhale up. Three deep breaths. This is set number three. I'm going to keep my chest open, elbows back, and lower down. You can come to a cheek. Number four. We're going to do this five times through. I don't know if I said that yet. Nice and easy as you come down. Last one. Shoulder blades press toward the center line. And come down. That was five. Sometimes after that one, we do a little stretch where we sit back on our heels, or we can do a cat stretch. We've worked the front, we've worked the back, we're gonna work the sides. This is a very gentle rotation exercise, but I love it. We do it all the time in my classes. It, it uh, increases the mobility of your spine. So we're not going to do anything too crazy for rotation. Rotation can be really challenging. The most common exercise is people lying on their back and doing bicycle. Really, really challenging. I don't do it very much myself. 
We're going to sit really tall, reach the arms forward, and I want your spine to be very upright. And then you're going to pull an elbow, and your gaze is going to follow your back hand. Once I rotate, I can reach the front arm forward, the back elbow back, and I'm going to breathe out. Squeezing all the air out of my lungs, inhale. Exhale, other side. Sit nice and tall. I don't want any bending forward. No change in the spine except for the rotation part. We're going to do four more each side. My hips are not moving. I'm rotating through the spine. I do have some rotation in the neck, but not a whole lot. That's why I keep the gaze on the hand. I've got two more. Reach in opposing directions. And one more. Okay, those are the three exercises for today. You can do that as many rounds as you feel comfortable doing. If it's your very first time, I wouldn't recommend doing very many because you don't know how sore you're gonna to be tomorrow. <laughs> So maybe be cautious, do it one or two times through, see how you feel the next day, that'll be a good guide through. Some, sort of, some soreness is okay, a lot is not gonna be comfortable, so um, proceed gently. So I would say no more than three times through, that's a great place to start. Um, and again, focus on front, back, sides, rest in between each exercise if you need it, and then we will be back soon with workout number two in our app series.